Viper VPN Review A Good Non-American, American VPN Viper VPN in brief Peer-to-peer -peer allowed, yes Business location, Switzerland Number of servers, 700 plus Number of country locations, 64 Monthly cost, $5 billed annually Golden Frog S. Viper VPN is a well-known and popular name among VPN aficionados. The price is affordable enough with two payment tiers, the speeds are good, and the company says it owns and manages 100% of its infrastructure. It has also got something of a storied history as far as internet companies go as it was founded by two co-founders of Guy Gainews, a popular Usenet provider. Note. This review is part of our best VPNs of 2017 roundup. Go there for details about competing products and how we tested them. Viper VPNs Windows app has a very simplistic design. It is choose the map based approach where you can click on various locations. Instead it has its own take on the single panel interface. Viper VPNs default interface. When you first open the interface it shows your current IP address. The time connected, since UV just started up it will say not connected, the VPN protocol and encryption it will use, and whether the NAT firewall is enabled. At the top there is also a bandwidth graph to show the current activity of your connection. There is nothing particularly unique about the interface. Lots of VPNs show your IP address, time connected, and so on. But Viper VPN's approach is designed to make them easily readable through a combination of the font and spacing around each item. At the very top of the window is a big blue connect button. By default that button connects to the fastest server available, which typically means the closest server to your physical location. To change that click on the map marker to the right, which opens a drop down menu with various options. If you have already connected to a server it will show your most recent choice as an option. There is also space here for any servers you have favorited, as well as the default option for connecting to the fastest server. Below that option is what we are really looking for, which is show all server locations. Click that option and a second window opens with all the various server locations. For the most part it is a collection of single country connections. But there are countries with multiple options such as the United States and Australia. Viper VPNs Server Selection Window Each server listing shows the ping response time to each location listed in milliseconds. The closer you are to a Viper VPN server location, the smaller the number. This window also has various tabs to filter servers by region, favorites, as well as a search tab for faster discovery of a particular location. The search tab is especially useful as this window cannot be maximized, and dragging the window will only make it larger vertically. That makes it a little confining and even awkward for quickly finding the location you want. In the upper right corner of the main Viper VPN window there is also a settings cog to reveal the options window, as well as links for support, more Viper VPN apps, and the company's blog, Take Back Your Internet. Viper VPN has two tiers, basic and premium. A basic subscription costs $60 per year, and gives you access to three simultaneous connections and unlimited data usage. The premium tier costs $80 billed annually. It ups the simultaneous connections to five, and adds access to software for running own VPN server on DigitalOcean or Amazon Web Services, as well as the ability to use the service as Chamberlain protocol. The Chameleon Protocol is Viper VPN's own proprietary technology that is supposed to defeat VPN blocking by governments, corporations, or ISPs. Viper VPN also works with Netflix but not in all cases. In my tests, some of the US servers worked to get at Netflix while others didn't. Though I did find that if I switched to the Chameleon Protocol I could use any server I wanted to access Netflix. An active Viper VPN connection. Viper VPNs options menu offers some helpful options none of which are turned on by default. These include the option to automatically reconnect if you get disconnected, to connect to Viper VPN at boot or when you launch the VPN application, an internet kill switch, and the ability to automatically connect to the VPN when you re-own a Wi-Fi network not included on your whitelist. 
Under Options Protocol you can switch from OpenVPN to Viper VPN own chameleon option that is based on OpenVPN 256 bit, and there is also options to use L2TP slash PSCore PPTP. By default, Viper VPN uses its own DNS servers as do most VPN services to avoid any DNS leaks. But you can also opt to use specific third-party DNS servers. Viper VPN is available for Windows and Mac, Android and iOS, and there are instructions for routers, some smart TVs, Apple TV, and Kodi, the popular home entertainment PC software. In my tests, Viper VPN wasn't the fastest VPN IV tested.